Hey, love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family, uh, just thank you for just supporting the channel. I sent out so many vibes as y'all blessed to do the same thing for me, which I really do appreciate. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you've been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell so you know when your girl's about to upload the next video. And if you are comfortable enough, please, I would love for you to uh, drop a line or two. Especially if it's about, you know, knowing you as much as you're you're getting to know me or if it's about the, the positive feedback the content of my video or you're just up telling me about your impact the gift and how it impacted your life and heading towards a positive direction if you feel like the video is gave good vibes or good information that you feel like you would love to pass on to somebody else who truly needs it please go ahead and do so and while you're at it go ahead and like and share on your social media favorites and give me a thumbs up wherever you see fit and Thank you so much for giving me love and support as always, and I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. And today, the beautiful meditation that I'm listening to in the background, I try to be, uh, try to be pick, uh, picking the ones that don't really, you know, sound crazy in the back of my background, because, you know, there's some people that say, you know, it clashes with what I'm trying to say. So, you know, I'm trying to use corrective criticism to make sure the the beats and everything and the vibes is very peaceful so i'm not using something that's going to sound crazy uh it is called 528 hertz letting go of mental blocks cleanse self-sabotage fear release inner struggle and self-doubt you know there are some of us that goes through some stuff like that especially when ego starting to play play tricks on your mind so i post that link in the description box below and today my video about is about twin flame 101 hey okas that are going through it when getting activated y'all made a video uh probably two days two or three days ago about um getting visions and stuff like that you know other empaths have been tuned in you know going through some really bad stuff like you know if you're a woman feel like you're going through menopause <laughs> you know i'm like i'm only 41 years old i'm getting right turned 42 in a few months in may so i'm like i know i'm not going through all this yet but it's just like you're it's like going through dark night of the soul um integration uh what is it ascension and kundalini if i said dark night of the soul all these things the spiritual awakening all at one time uh is basically preparing us and we're going through it you know mood swings very sensitive i've been crying on and off all day you know i feel my dad's energy and it's like he's hugging me and i just start bursting out in tears and i hear him like baby why are you crying this time and you know on my daughter she you know she texted me earlier saying just mom i love you and i was just i i just dropped at a dime she's like mom you need to quit being so sensitive but she always jokes with me like that because she's an empath like me so she cries at a drop of a hat too but you know we all gotta go through these things for us to be able to reach that higher realm you know i don't know what universe is parent preparing us for it when they tell me to send um messages to y'all that's what i do when they give me these visions i tell y'all you know what i mean it sounds surreal when i get these things i'm like is this really happening and then you got to look at all the things that you're going through you know you're releasing a lot of conflict that you have had inner conflict or trauma you know a lot of memories are like coming up like past vomit like what the hell you know i haven't even thought about this stuff that you probably forgot about is just all resurfacing and we ha it's like we have to uh it's like detoxing ourselves we have to be able to get rid of all these things especially if you're being that one that's activated um you're going through that or you're on the verge of getting activated because you if you start getting these intense symptoms you know some people have been breaking out into rashes some people's skin has been shedding like you know you, you get a new skin and stuff like a snake um, having hot and cold flashes like right now I got my sweatshirt on I was freezing earlier you know but I was working out so next thing you know I was hot and then all of a sudden I got really cold again um, having really crazy dreams I get frustrated because I'd be loving to have dreams with me and my dad interacting but it's always either like a zombie apocalypse or just apocalyptic uh, uh, dreams that can be very intense and crazy you know it's just like or you know with me being a white witch sometimes I have dreams of certain cats so it's just like all those dreams you know I always look them up you know Google's my best friend when I want to know you know try to keep a journal on everything 
you know, I try to keep a journal close by, let myself know the things that I'm going through. Sometimes I can go through it and just make sense. And then it'll come into play the next day. And like, oh, you know, it was just foretelling me my premonition on what was going to happen throughout that day. Or there's things that you need to release, you know. So it's just like we're going through all these different situations. And it's like spirit guides are coming to me. People that have passed on, especially if I'm talking to their loved ones, they want to come in and send messages and I send it to people. And they're like, Rosalind, how do you know these things? I'm like, look, you know, if it's if it's meant for you to know at that time, you know, your family comes through and gives me messages to give you, they've probably been giving them to you as well. But if you're into a stressful state or you're going through integration at the time, sometimes it's hard to get those messages, especially if you're really missing them at that time. Because, you know, there's times I miss my dad and he's been trying to let me know, hey, I'm always here. But um, going through that grief can be really hard. So it's just like the other day I did a video about divine consciousness and I broke down into tears. Like I hate it when y'all see me cry. But it's like the it, universe tells me you have to be able to let them see you at your vulnerable moments to let them know you, they go through these things too. They need to see you go through them as well because it's not like I want to put on a show or a pity party there could be times it's, it's like I feel blessings coming towards me so I want to be able to shoot them vibes towards y'all as well just to know I'm grateful for waking up because there's people that are struggling to wake up struggling to breathe you know waking up they got cancer or any other situations that are going on with them and they're trying to fight battle of their them being alive and sometimes we complain when things are not going our way and it's just like, you know, I've seen people that I truly care about going through stuff and they're just like not snapping out of it. There's times I get that way and I have to do certain things to get myself out of that rut. So, you know, going through all these different stages, we had to go through it, especially if you're being activated, you know, very intense, you know, you can be depressed. Like, woe is me. Why is this happening right now? You could have weight gain. I'm gaining some weight, which I hate. That's why I'm working out like crazy. Your eating habits, I've been eating like a pig. You know, probably it's probably like that with me right now because, you know, I quit smoking. So with that habit, I'm, you know, I'm still eating like a lot of fruit. There's times I eat candy as well. So I try to substitute that candy with more fruit. So I've been eating up fruit as well. Drinking a lot of water because I feel myself getting cotton off a lot. Uh, headaches like crazy. So knowing these things are making you detox everything out your life is not positively serving you. So you have to go through all these things because you're going to be that warrior for whatever is coming. So they need you to prepare. It's like you're amping up like for a tournament. Like if you, you know, you see people that are cheerleading or doing flag, you know, those dances and stuff like that. They got to go through all these preparations. They got to go through a diet plan, exercise plan, training plan. You know, because they know they're going to have this championship coming up. That's basically what empaths are going through right now. So it's a lot of stuff that people don't understand why they're going through it. Their gifts are probably being very more intense than they usually are. You're multi-gifted. There's more things you're probably knowing about yourself that you weren't aware of. Like mine has been like so intense. Like people can feel me without even being in the same state. Or if I'm connected to them one-on-one, -on -one, they're like, oh, Rosalind, I feel you this way. Or, oh, Rosalind, I feel you that way. And it's like, I'm not trying, especially if it's something negative or something very emotional that's like depressed, emotional. I don't want that coming off on people. That's why a lot of times, you know, that's the reason why I didn't do videos yesterday. Because I was going through so much yesterday. Going through so many different filters, so many different downloads, so many different emotions. Being aggravated, being pissed, and then being emotional again, and then being happy. You know, it made me feel like I was that going schizophrenic. So it was like, you know, no offense to anybody who has a mental illness like that, because I know it, it, it's not something that's good to be poking fun of. But it's like you, we're going through all these situations for us to be able to clear and start a clean slate. So if you're going through this, know that you're going through this for a reason, knowing that you're that person that's getting activated. You're getting to that point where we're there's going to be a war or whatever's coming they're preparing you for that and that's why i did that other video the other day and i'll let you know i don't know how long this is supposed to go on universe told me to let y'all know this so i'm just you know don't shoot the messenger because i don't know <laughs> i'm going through it too i'm going through it too as long as i don't you know i can knock on wood and say please don't give me the rash again because i remember when i got rashes up and down my legs and they hurt so bad it made me feel like i had shingles or something and they were very painful like i had matter of fact not shingles because i never had shingles before but um chicken pox i had those when i was little and that was not a pretty sight but it was just on my legs and it was like really bad to the point they hurt 
So, you know, knowing we had to go through all these things just to get detoxed to prepare us for whatever's coming. So if you're going through these things, knowing you're going through these things for a temporary, per, you know, temporary time, but knowing it's for a positive purpose. So like and subscribe. I hope you're able to uh, not like and subscribe. I um, hope you're able to resonate with the video. Like and subscribe. Drop me a line. You know, give me a thumbs up. Like and even share. Um, send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. Much love. Let me see. Let me, let me see who I'm going to give a post shout out to today. Chief Disaster, Gabriel, and that's it for right now because I got to um, go look up some more because I got some new ones coming out. So, um, many blessings to you. I hope everybody had a blessed, safe week and be responsible and safe for everything you do. Send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. Know that you are truly blessed, highly loved, and forever favored. And knowing there is always somebody out there praying for your better days. I'm trying to hurry up and say this because, you know, anything over 10, 11 minutes, it takes about five or six hours for it to come through. So, I'm gradually putting out videos out throughout the day and the night for the next two days. So, much love to you. Peace and be wild. Wow.